Hello everyone, welcome to Cerna Healthcare, our testing video where we're gonna be testing the Apple Series 4 watch. Uh, we're gonna be testing the fall detection as it relates to seniors. Uh, many seniors and uh, families of seniors have been asking us if this is a good uh, solution for them. Um, so how an, how an accelerometer works is it takes a free falling motion and a stop which, that creates G-force. And that, through a sensor, the accelerometer and some code, uh, will then bring up a, a, a box, basically, or a message that says, uh, it looks like you've fallen, are you okay? If you're not okay, of course, you can push the button that it will uh, call for emergency help or whoever you have programmed in the phone, or you can push the other button that says, I'm okay. And in, in that case, it will reset. Uh, Apple has programmed this watch so that it will learn. It learns more about how your movements, what you do, and supposedly we'll get better and better at detecting a fall. So we're gonna put it through the ringer and uh, let you know how that comes out. Once you get your uh, Apple Watch, you're gonna go to your iPhone to enable your fall detection, click on your app, scroll down just below general, you'll see emergency SOS. Click on emergency SOS, and then slide that to where it shows on for fall detection. So to test these falls, we brought our crash test kid which we don't recommend at home, but he has all the gear necessary to do the number of falls, which are gonna be, like I said, cement, tile, carpet, anything. So he is ready for action. Okay, now we're gonna test uh, coming out of a shower with a low threshold. That is a low step over coming out of the shower. Andreas, go ahead. And we're waiting for a response. And so far, nothing. That is a negative response. Okay, now we're gonna test a fall with a carpet and a rug. Uh, most elderly people have carpet and rug in their homes. That will absorb most of the fall, but we still wanna try it anyway. Our test kid, Andreas, go ahead and do a fall. Okay, let's zoom in on the watch. Now that was a pretty hard fall. It was on carpeting, which absorbed most of the shock. And that is a negative response. Okay, this fall is actually gonna be on a hardwood floor. This is a typical hardwood floor and could break some bones here uh, if an elderly were to fall on it. So hopefully the watch is gonna give us a detection. Andreas, go ahead and we're gonna trip over the step. should get a fall detection and we did not. That is a negative response. Here is an actual fall detection, SOS. If you push SOS, it means you got hurt. That will uh, call the next person in line on your phone. If you push this, I fell but I'm okay, it will reset the fall detection. Okay, we're gonna actually do a fall onto a hardwood floor. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a push so we have an accelerated motion. Hopefully that's gonna give us a detect. You ready? And go. And let's zoom in on the watch. Give it just a moment. And we got to fall detect. So we have SOS. If we slide that over, that's going to call whoever we have on the emergency contacts. We could have 911. We could have our son or daughter or our friend. Or we have, I fell, but I'm okay. If we push that, it resets it. So now we're actually gonna test a high threshold that's a shower tub combination, a dangerous combination because it is a high step to get out of and a slippery tub. Andreas, let's go ahead. And we should get a detect with that. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the watch there. And we got a detect. I fell but I'm okay or SOS, again SOS means you're gonna contact whoever's on the watch as an emergency, or I fell but I'm okay, we'll reset the watch. Okay, on this test, we're actually gonna fall on a sidewalk. A very hard surface, could be dangerous. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a detect uh, from this kind of fall. Andreas, go ahead and give us a fall. You're walking, and then you trip. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in on the watch and see if we can get a detect. We got it. And again, we have the SOS. If you slide that over, it detects your emergency, or calls your emergency contact. Or we have, I fell, but I'm okay, which will reset it.
And we got a detection. Okay, so now that we have completed our testing, we did get better at our falls. So some of those falls early on, the phone may have known they weren't an actual fall. Uh, but still, we think it's gonna be about a 50-50% uh, chance that the phone recognizes a fall. We're gonna give this a, 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 about out of 10, we think we're gonna give it an eight, uh, maybe even a seven. Uh, we think it's better than not having anything and, and you will still be able to communicate with somebody if you do fall but it's just not gonna detect every fall. So we'll be doing some more and more tests and be back with you soon. Thanks for joining us.